in this video we will design a form for user registration or user sign up let's open visual studio so in the previous video we have already configured and installed identity in this application now we need to start working on user registration part and we need to create a new form so that we can add or register a new user into a database let's open the models folder in this model let's add a new model with name sign up user model you can give any meaningful name to your model let's click on the add button in this model let's add three properties for now first one is email second one is password and third one is confirm password by using the data annotation we can add the validations and display properties Here I have added three properties email, password and confirm password. Along with these properties I have added few validations and display attribute so all of them are required. Here I have added this display attribute and I have also added this email validation. Then I have added a compare validation over here so I will be comparing this password with this confirm password property and along with this I have also added the data type. So the data type for these properties is password. So whenever we will generate a form, the type will be password automatically. Now, now our model is ready. To work with the authentication and authorization, let's add a new controller in this application. Let's right click on the controller, choose add and choose controller. Let's give it a meaningful name. So I'll be adding an empty controller. Here I'm writing account controller. Let's click on the add button. A new account controller has been added for us. Okay, so over here, suppose here I'm writing sign up. Let's write the route. Sign up, okay. And let's add a new view. Let's right click on this view folder. Choose add view. Here I'm adding a new razor view. Click on this add. Here we are having the view name and the templates. I am not changing anything in this view name. Let's change the template. The template is for create. Let's choose the model class. In the model class we have sign up user model. Okay. And I do not want to use the layout page for this particular sign up page. Let's remove this one and click on the add button. And because we are not using the layout file for this particular page, so we need to add the bootstrap to this page manually. Let's go to the layout file. In this layout file, we are using this bootstrap version. Let's copy the entire code. Go back to our signup.cshtml. Let's run this application by pressing Ctrl F5. This is a home page. We have already added the route sign up. Let's try to navigate to that URL. Okay, so here we are having this UI. We need to update this UI by applying some classes. Let's add one more div over here. And in this div, let's add a new class container. And inside this div, let's paste our entire code. Save the changes. Again, go back to browser. Refresh this page. Here you can see that we have our page. Let's add one more div over here. Class. 
scroll md8 i have already added few images in this application so here we have this login image and here we have this sign up image we will be using these images for the login and sign up pages since we are working on the registration that is sign up page so you can use this sign up image over here and let's add the bootstrap class let's save all the changes again go back to the browser refresh this page this time you can see that we have a beautiful sign up page now we need to work on this sign up page you can also design this page as per your need now we need to add a post action method for this sign up page let's copy this entire code paste it again over here let's use the model the model name is let's resolve the namespace save the changes and here we need to check all the validations and we can use model state dot is valid property if the validation is successful then we will write a logic over here otherwise we will return this view with the error message we need to make it a post method build this application again go back to the browser now without entering any data let's click on this create button here you can notice that we are having all the validation messages if i enter some wrong details just like this and click on the create button then you will see that we are having this html5 validation message then if i enter some wrong password and click on the create button let's enter a valid email first click on the create button this time you will notice that we are having one more validation that password does not match this time let's enter a correct password suppose i'm writing 12345 here also let's enter 12345 and click on the create button the model state is clear it means this validation message is working fine now we need to work on the server side code to add this user into a database in the next video we will work on the repository code and we will save the details of this user into database thank you for watching have a great day